All right, here we are, we're live. Uh, this is the second time in a row now that uh, we have had to do our Christmas Eve fundraiser boot camp in the gym, kind of by myself. Uh, Bobby Peterson was supposed to be here today. Unfortunately, uh, Bobby couldn't make it because his son isn't feeling great. So Bobby's been home being a good dad, which is good job, Bobby. Um, so it's just me. <laughs> which means there'll be a lot of talking for me and uh, it is kind of is what it is. Every year we do this as a fundraiser. Um, this is our sixth year, I think, doing it now. And this year, if you would check out Feed Nova Scotia, uh, we would really appreciate if you donated food to, or money to Feed Nova Scotia. Uh, there's a lot of people out there right now who do not have food or a place to live. Um, and we've seen it all over the news lately. Uh, we've seen people who don't have a place to live. How are you, Elsie? Merry Christmas. Um, it's good that my comments work. <laughs> So there's a lot of people that don't have money, uh, don't have food at Christmas time. Those of us who have the money and have food, uh, if you can take a second, check out Feed Nova Scotia um, and donate to them, that would be near and dear to my heart, if you could. We've uh, we've been able to raise money before uh, for stuff. Um, unfortunately, again, this makes it harder, right? <laughs> it's a little tougher than it used to be, uh, just having people in the gym. Even up to like three weeks ago or two weeks ago, we thought we would be here doing it. I was super pumped. I'm like, yes, we're back. And now, no, we're not. So anyway, I thought this was the best plan. Uh, we actually thought about bringing all the staff in and doing it as a staff group event type thing. Um, and then my worry, of course, was what happens if we end up with COVID? So we decided not to. It was just going to be me and Bobby. So now it's just me. Uh, a special shout out to my boy, Logan. He gave me this t-shirt, Sudafried Unit Training. Uh, Logan, appreciate it very much. I decided to wear it for the workout today. Uh, Logan's a great guy. He's a fantastic trainer. Kid is 22 years old. Uh, he's better, hell a lot better than I was at 22. Uh, and uh, I love him. He's an amazing guy. We have, I have a lot of really, really good staff here and amazing clients and members. Uh, but I just want to give a shout out to Logan and I'm wearing a shirt today for the workout. All right, so we do have a 12 days of Christmas workout. How that means is uh, you're going to do one exercise. It'll be one of, well, get ups for the first one. Uh, and then we'll go two side planks back to the one gutters. Just like the song, you know, the 12 days of Christmas, my dream. Yeah, I'm not a good singer. I know. It's, it's, it's not good. <laughs> anyway, I have it written up. Uh, I will show you real quick, but I gotta kinda have it in front of me. I'll just call out stuff as we go. This will all be body weight, by the way, too. Uh, because obviously lots of you guys are at home and you wanna be able to do this thing, but you don't have any gear. So, and I figured, you know, best thing to do is just, uh, just do that. Joe, Merry Christmas. You ready to get this on? All right, I'm going to show you quick what this is. There we are. That's some of the workout there. Uh, what it is is we're going to go get ups first. That would be the first exercise. Then side planks. I'll show you how we do that. Jack knives, which is an ab exercise. Hand walk push ups and burpees. I shouldn't have put those two together. That was a bad call on my part. Shit. All right. Uh, plank jacks, high knee runs, bike abs, Superman. Uh, what else we got here? Jumping jacks, squat jumps, and mountain climbers. That's how it all is going to work out. Uh, I'm going to see if I can turn my sound off because that thing keeps beeping. Uh, I'm not sure why it would do that. All right, there we go. That'll be the end of that. <laughs> this is the problem. Too many people text me and want stuff from me. You're like, damn it, hey! And I'm like, shoot, especially when you're like. I also, just before we get this rocking and rolling, managed to pull my hamstring yesterday in a workout. I'm going to blame Amanda Chater for that. She was telling me that she could kick my ass in a workout. And maybe I went heavier than I should have. Anyway, uh, we'll see how this all goes. First exercise is the get up. We're just coming flat from the floor. Nice part about this workout is it gets progressively harder as we go. Pace yourself. Don't kill yourself, but let's get it on. Get ups mean you lie flat on the floor like a, like a sit up. And then you stand up. Basically, any way you can get up, you can. Some people can do it without their hands. I am not that flexible. So. Let's get this on. First thing is, get ups. Flat on the floor, there's one get up, drive it up. Up on your feet, that easy. One get up. Number two is side plank. What we're gonna do is plank, roll over plank on the other side, plank and plank, that's how this is gonna work. All right, so here we go. There'll be two side planks. Set it up. Get yourself squared. One. One. Two. Two. Then we've got the get up again. Here we go. I told you I wasn't very flexible. All right, next one are jack knives. This is an ab exercise. 
On your back, we have three jackknives. How the air is like a sit up and a leg raise together. So hands up. One, two, three. All right, we're into the side. Plank again, two reps. One, one, two, two. And we're back to the get up again. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're on to four. Four is hand block push ups. How we do this, you're gonna walk out into a push up, do a push up, walk your hands back, stand up. This is where the rubber hits the road. It's gonna get a little bit harder. All right. Here we go. Feet stay nice and wide. Walk them out, chest down or as deep as you can go. Here we go. Four reps. One. Two. Three. Four. There we go. Back to the jackknives. Back on your back. Here we go. Hands up. Feet up. One. Two. Three. Side plank. Set them up. One. Two. One strike. Two. Two. Here we go. And the get up. Whoo. As you can see, this gets a little harder as it goes. Uh, I shouldn't have put the burpees, to be honest, with the handlock push-ups. Now that I'm looking at it, that was a bad call on my part. <laughs> but hell, we're here. Let's do this thing. All right, so burpees are next. Two ways, you can go chest down if you want to, or you can just pop in, pop out. Totally up to you, I'm gonna go chest down. I'm not the greatest at burpees, especially since I pulled that hamstring, but what the hell, let's get it on. All right, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. We're back. Four. Hand walk push-ups. Feet wide. Real. One. Two. Three. Woo. Four. There we go. On our back. Jack knives. Three of them. Side. Here we go. One. One. Two. Two. And we're back in the gap. Here we go. Whoo! Now, it may seem like we're almost halfway through, but we're not. That's how this goes. It gets progressively harder as you go. A little drying here today. How is everybody doing? You guys doing this? We only have two comments. Everybody going well? No problems? If you're all just sitting on the couch, who here right now is sitting on their couch not doing anything? I just saw a light. <laughs> Listen, it's okay. I'm gonna leave this workout up here anyway. It'll be saved. I'll also put it on our YouTube channel. You can do it whenever the heck you want. All right. We have high knee run. Oh, sorry. Plank jacks from next. Six, six, I don't know how many were. Plank jacks. That means just from a plank position or a push up position. Out of breath already, Kelly. I am too. <laughs> so all we're doing is from a push up position, hop your feet on, hop them out. I'm doing a good job, Joe. That's it. <laughs> well done, Joe. All right, so plank jacks. We've got six of them. Here we go. Set them up. We're just hopping them in and out. Only about in. One, two, Three, four, five, six. There we are. Not too hard, but here comes the next one. Burpees, the big dog. We got five. Here we go. One, 
two, three, four, five. And we've got four hand walk push ups. Feet wide, let's go. One. Too bad. Hey, Joe, he's getting on the couch later. That's fair. I think I'll probably do exactly the same thing and I'll hop on the couch later myself. <sighs> All right. Next up will be high knee runs. I put a ton of amps in here, by the way. So this ought to be fun. And my hamstring sucks. So some of the things I want to do, I'm like, ah, maybe not a good idea. All right, high knee run is we're gonna try to drive those knees up, waist tight. And when we do them, we're gonna count on one side. So one, one, two, two. All right, just like that. So we'll see how the hamstring feels with this. Drive that knee high. Ready, set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not too bad. Whew, plank jacks. Six of them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, you know what's next? Burpees, let's do this thing. One, two, three, four, five, four, hand walk push-ups. Woo, again, I should've put those together. All right, so. Two. Three. Four. All right. Three jack knives. We four on our back. Uh, here we go. One. Two. Three. Goodness. All right. Side plank, two, one, one, two, two, here we go, one, get up. All right, we're on eight, how's everybody feeling? Pretty good? I'm pretty winded. <laughs> yeah, this one, uh, I figured it would be tough. Once you get up like 789, that's where it gets tough. But we are cruising right through, we're 15 minutes in, right? All right, next one is one of my least favorite exercises. Bike abs, you're on your back, you're gonna bring your elbow, the opposite knee, back and forth. We're doing eight, which means eight per side. Now, I suck at these. So if you're saying, Devin, they don't look good, they're not pretty, you're right. <laughs> All right, this will be the exercise from here. You're swapping them back and forth, okay? Whew. All right, count on one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Those I've never been any good at. All right, high knee run, seven reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, whoo, six plank jacks. Here we go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. What's next? The big dog is burpees. Whew. These are tough. These are tough. I find burpees there. All right, let's go. We're going five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right. Next up, handball push up. Four reps. I am sweating. All right, here we go. One. tough as I used to be. All right, we're getting on to nine now. If you want a drink, get it. I'm taking one. Uh, goodness. All right. Next one is Superman. Merry Christmas, Angie Kevin. Thank you all the way from Alberta. My friend Angie. I love Angie. And Kevin's awesome as well. Merry Christmas, guys. All right, so next up is the Superman. You're on his stomach. Everything arches up. Basically, you're going to lift your hands and your feet up. Bring it back down. Got nine reps on that. All right. I am sweating like hell. Here we go. Ready? Hands up high. My shoulders suck. You got all kinds of problems with them. So, try to do better than me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew. As you can see, I am not great at that. Bike abs are next. Another one of my non-favorites. I try to put hard things in here that I'm just not good at. All right, bike abs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh, oops, sorry. Eight. Screw that one up. Find the run. That's the seven. <sighs> okay. Now ready to get this on? Here we go. High knee run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next up is plank jacks. Six of them. Whew. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And it's burpee time again. All right, five burpees. One. Two, three, four, five. Ah, goodness. All right. Handball push ups, four reps. Keep wide. Let's go. One, two, One, two, 
Everybody else is sweating too, because these are hard. <laughs> How's everybody doing out there? You guys good? Everybody feeling good? Hopefully, you guys can do some stuff before Christmas. I know cases keep going up. Not that I want to talk about COVID. <sighs> Try to stay as active as you can. Gyms are not necessarily going to be the only place you can catch stuff. Obviously, there's things everywhere. We try to be as clean as we can. <laughs> Joey said he's sweating out the eggnog. I gotta tell you, I love eggnog. I literally love that stuff. I just try to buy it because when I buy it, to me it's like ice cream. I love ice cream too. And it's all bad. <laughs> it just gets me every time I would. I'll drink eggnog until it comes out of my ears. It's a bad idea. All right, so we've done the Superman. Now we're on to number 10. We've only got three rounds left. These are the three hardest rounds. Joe, once a year? <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that one. I just try not to buy it at all. Ice cream for me, if I buy it, it's in the house and I'm eating it. Middle of the night, doesn't matter when. I have zero self-control with ice cream. All right, jumping jack, something nice and easy. All right, we ready to get this on? We've got 10 reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, we've got nine on the Superman. This is one I'm not good at with my shoulder. Try to do your best. Here we go. Nine reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Goodness, I'm dead at this. All right, butt yes. On your back. Here we go. Eight reps, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plank jacks in the next, I think. High knee run. I'm like, it's the high knee run that's next. All right, we're ready to do this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! All right, now the plank jacks are on the table. Six of them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. The big dog. Burpees. Five reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Getting off the floor would be so hard. <laughs> I always uh, am amazed with that. We have two rounds left. Get yourself a quick drink. Uh, this has been tough, but fun. I'm just disappointed again that we, uh, you know, we can't have people in house for it. It's super fun that way. But again, 
We're hoping that you guys will go over to Feed Nova Scotia, their site. I will write this afterwards. I'll put a link down below. Go to Feed Nova Scotia. Please, if you have money or you can, anything helps, donating to them with times. There's people out there have no money. There's people out there with no food. We want to help take care of them as much as we can. We're lucky enough to have food. Help out those people, please, that, that don't. That fun word again, <laughs> Yvonne Lapierre, one of my favorite people. Yvonne is awesome. I've known Yvonne a long time. She always says I'm not doing the fun the right way. Angie says it too. She says, your version of fun and mine are different. Guys, I just have no hobbies. Honestly, for me, it's I have one hobby outside of exercise. Two, I got my family, motorcycles, and exercise. That's all I, I really, I don't do much else. I'm pretty boring overall. Uh, I should probably not tell people that. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm married, because if I was single, that's not, that's not a very good pitch, <laughs> if you think about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm really boring. Anyway, fortunately I'm married, anyway, or something, I don't know. I'm pretty boring, period. Okay, last two rails, guys. We are going squat jumps. We have 11 reps on the squat jumps, okay? That means get low, pop up, land soft. Think about it. You wanna pretend you're a ninja in this situation, okay? So land soft, no hard landings. If you hear your feet hit the ground, we don't want that. We want real quiet, soft landings, okay? So, you've got squat jumps. We have 11 of them. This is the last, second last round. Hard to believe already. Okay, ready to do this? Squat jumps. 11 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Whew, jumping jacks for 10 reps. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! We're back to the Spider-Man that I hate. But I put it in there anyway, even though I saw it. Alright, let's go. Hands up. Nine reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, there we go. Eight, our bike abs. Flip it over. Let's do this thing. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we have high knee run. Seven reps. All right, ready to get this on? Whoo! Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness. Plank jacks. Six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're back to the burpee. Second last round. Whew. All right, ready, set, go. One, two, Three, four, five. All right, hand block push ups. Four of them. Second last round. Here we go. We actually have one round left. That's it. Just one, and we're done. Exciting, I know, and 
funny by my PR. All right, it means there's basically one more run through this thing. We can do this. Got lots in the tank. I think I have a lot of sweat in my eyes. I, can that I think we're only 30 minutes on the nose in. It's a good sign. I think it's about 34, 33 minutes to totally do this thing. Might as well get it on, right? Remember, you can work out anywhere. Putting a little time in is always important. Being more healthy, especially right now, is important. Take care of your body. Listen, enjoy Christmas. Eat the stuff you want to eat. See your family, spend time with your family, but put in some exercise, guys. Even if you go for a walk, it's good for you. All right, this is it. Last one. Kind of sad, eh? I was thinking when we were like eight, I'm like, this is never gonna get over. <laughs> All right, so we're going mountain climbers for 12. It means we're counting on one side. All right, whew. This is gonna be tough. Okay, last round and we're done, guys. So, mountain climbers are last. Let's get this on. 12 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, jumps, 11 of them, set those up, lance off like you're a ninja, quiet on the feet, ready, set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, jumping jacks of ten, there's a lot of high intensity stuff right at the end. When I wrote this up, I thought this is gonna suck again. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Superman! These are on your stomach. Here we are. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that, Woo. we're done, you're right, Joe. That was fun. You're heading back down, Joe's nuts. Joe's gonna do the whole thing again in reverse. I am not. <laughs> Joe's tougher than I am. One thing I did wanna say today, 
See, I'm a little sweaty. Uh, and I wanted to say this at the beginning, but I thought I'd wait till the end. I have been very fortunate in my life to have a lot of good things happen to me. And uh, sometimes you forget about that stuff. In 2007, I left New Bodies. I was the highest paid trainer at New Bodies, and I didn't like it. I'm not a good employee. I'm just not. I like to do things my own way. I left there. I had a one-year-old kid and a five-year-old kid. Rain wasn't quite in school yet. Journey was one year old. Uh, I was married at the time, and I went out on my own. I now, in retrospect, looking at that at almost 48 years old, I look back and I think, what in the world was I thinking? But I did it. I started with outdoor boot camps. I did things out of my, you know, I trained people out of my garage. No, no kidding. Uh, and then over, over time, I decided I wanted my own space. I was fortunate enough to run into somebody who helped me with that. Angel, God bless you. The reason this has happened is partly because, of, big piece and because of you. Uh, Angel is a good friend who helped me out. Uh, thank you, Andre. Good, good work, dude. Uh, so, and then I started my own space. We moved into a new space. Uh, and now I feel like it's a, it's kind of amazing when you look back from 2007 to, you know, almost 2022, the change that has happened in my life. I've been very fortunate to have great staff, amazing clients to work with. You guys are near and dear to my heart. Uh, and the one thing I just want to say to you is I love you guys. Thank you for so much for being there. You have made this experience, uh, this time, the, the best in my life. You really have. And I don't, I don't want to get all teary on you because I, I do tend to do that, a little emotional in general. But this has been one of those things in my life that I'm, you know, this has been the mainstay of my life through, you know, a bad divorce <laughs> and uh, a breakup that everybody read about online to getting remarried and having, you know, four beautiful kids now. You know, I've been very, very fortunate in my life. And a lot of that has to do with you guys believing in me, coming to my gym, you know, spending your money, voting with your money, because that's what voting you do with your money. You vote with your money, right? Uh, so I am so appreciative of everybody that I see that has ever come to the gym. And, and those of you who still come, thank you for giving me your business. Thank you for trusting me with your fitness. Uh, thank you to my staff who are amazing. They're wonderful people who care uh, and have gotten on board with my my goals and what I want to do in my life. Uh, you know, God bless them because they... It's tough sometimes to, you know, follow along with me because I go awful fast and I'm excited all the time. So I just want to say thank you to them too. And guys, this has been a hard two years. 42% <laughs> of independently owned gyms in Nova Scotia, not Nova Scotia, in Canada have closed. And I'm still here, which says a lot for you guys and what you guys have done to believe in me and be here for me and, and continue to come back after shutdowns. So God bless you thank you from the bottom of my heart I appreciate it and again you guys sending coming to my gym being here for me being positive and happy and great to see you and helping you every day has been a high, one of the highlights of my life and you know you trusting me with your fitness you trusting my staff with your fitness and bringing your family and friends to us and referring us nothing nothing there's nothing that says how much you guys trust us than by you know referring your family and friends so thank you so much uh everybody merry christmas i love you guys i can't wait to see you in the new year happy holidays thank you joe uh and you know god bless all of you guys and let's make 2022 amazing please you know bring your family and your friends let's uh let's all get healthy and take care of ourselves together i think of uh, 360 fit as being a family my goal was a family from the get-go and you guys have you guys have been a family to me i love all you guys Thank you so much, and uh, Merry Christmas. Enjoy it. I'm going to go clean up and have a shower. <laughs> Take care, guys. Don't fight the awesome. <laughs>